Hey guys, this is Zach Hampel at Petco Park in San Diego, and I'm inside the stadium right now, as you can see, way out here in deep right center field in this area called Park at the Park, which I showed a couple videos ago. Today's game has kind of an odd start time. It's a Saturday, first pitch is 5.40 p.m., and it seems like any time a game starts earlier than about 7 o'clock, there's always the chance that the teams might not take batting practice, or it might only be a partial BP, and sure enough, it seems to be the situation today. It's about two and a half hours right now before first pitch, and the grounds crew just set up the batting cage and all the screens and tarps. So my guess is that the Padres won't hit, but the Rockies will. So I'm gonna head over into foul territory in just a bit, turn my attention toward them, maybe get a toss up or two, then head to the outfield, go for some home runs. And during the game, I wanna wander. I wanna check this place out some more. Get up to the upper deck, check out the view, maybe get on top of the Western Metal Supply Building or at least get close to it, and we'll just see what else we can get into. So, here we go. <laughs> nice flurry of activity early on. The Padres were actually playing catch, a whole bunch of them when I first ran inside. So I stopped along the right field foul line, got a quick toss up, not sure who threw it. And then once the Rockies started hitting, I hurried over to the left field foul line, caught a slicer by Charlie Blackman, and then some righty, I'm not sure who, yanked a really hard foul line drive. I lunged over and down over the wall, caught it in the tip of my glove, and I think my videographer got the very tail end of that. So that one really felt good. Now out here in deep right field, Cargo should be hitting soon. He always puts on a good show, so I'm ready. Thank you. Sure. I watched your videos, you're cool. My man. Right. right field was pretty good to me today. Carlos Gonzalez launched a home run over my head, over the cross aisle and into the seats. And as I scampered up the steps to find it, another ball landed nearby. So I grabbed those both, back to back home run balls. And then in the last group, there was a different lefty, not sure who, who also cleared the cross aisle. That ball deflected way up in the air and down into the cross aisle. So I reached up and caught that. So six balls total today. And if you remember my last video from here, both teams hit and I only got five all day. Today, only one team hit and I got six. So go figure, I was just kind of racking them up at a better pace. Now earlier on, I forgot to mention this, I think it was Mark Reynolds absolutely putting on a display, launching balls where you don't really see them go too often. Way up off that Western Metal Supply Company building, he hit one completely over the seats in the second deck that nearly took out a TV camera up there. So that was fun to see. And then at the very end of batting practice, a bunch of folks came up to me to say hello. Really friendly people. And that's something I've enjoyed all season, no matter what stadium I go to. There's always a lot of people that approach me, tell me how much I enjoy these videos. So thank you guys, I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. There's still a bunch more videos to go this season. And for right now, tonight, there's still a lot more to do and to show you. This stadium is absolutely gorgeous, and I'd say it's pretty much at the top of most people's lists as far as the best ballparks in Major League Baseball. But if there's one thing that I think a lot of folks don't realize, it's all the interesting angles and nooks and crannies that were designed with this place. And you can see one of them behind me. It's not really a big deal, it's just cool. There's this walkway all the way on the outside of the right field seats, but it's really convenient. If you're coming in from the park at the park, you just hang a right, and bam, here you are in the seats. And another thing, I was just talking to a gentleman in a wheelchair who travels around to a lot of stadiums. He said this is the very best one in terms of accessibility. And if you can get a look at this down below, you can see there's a really big wheelchair ramp. So again, you come in from the park at the park, you zigzag down that thing, and bam, there you are on this lower party deck, which is really pretty slick. 
Now, I do miss what used to be there prior to the 2016 season. There was an area known as The Beach, which was essentially a gigantic sandbox. There used to be kids building sand castles. It was really fun in batting practice for running around, catching balls. Anybody used to be able to hang out there. Now this area is reserved for large groups. So there's less room to work with, but I think the stadium looks even better than it did before. One more quick thing before the game starts. I'm out here in left center field right near the bullpens and there aren't too many stadiums like this one where you get a good look in the bullpen from behind the pitcher basically at eye level which lets you see his actual grip on the ball. That's pretty neat and Julius Chassin, the Padres starter, has been working on his change-ups. You can see his entire hand is on the baseball. I think just a moment ago he was working on his curveballs. So I love stuff. It almost feels like it's like a behind the scenes peek at these guys, but it's right here out in the open. I love it. I forgot just how beautiful this place is. And you know what? The concourses, in their own way, are really outstanding. Tons of open space, open air, you can look all the way up. There's hanging vines all over the place. I think that if I were gonna rank all the concourses in Major League Baseball, the ones here at Petco would definitely be number one for what that's worth. But anyway, for right now, I'm all the way up here in the upper deck behind home plate. You can see the buildings of downtown San Diego looming up in the background. It's so spectacular, this backdrop almost looks fake. And you can see a lot from up here. If you look really closely, way off in the background, you can see Balboa Park. You can also see planes fly by every five minutes or so. And if you look out the back of the upper deck, you get a great view of San Diego Bay. Right now, bottom of the third inning, no score, and I do want to get over near the Western Metal Supply Building, so let's go take a look. Just wrapped up a nice little tour of the stadium, which finished up in the upper deck right next to the Western Metal Supply Company building. I was hoping to get inside or maybe on top of it, but the whole thing is filled up with private parties, not surprisingly. So right now, I'm back out here in right field, bottom of the sixth inning, Padres are up two to nothing. Their starter, Julius Chassin, just lost a no-hitter about 10 minutes ago. So that was pretty exciting. I was also excited because I was playing this little scratch-off game to try to win the shirts off their backs, which happens tomorrow. I will be back here, which is the final home game of the season, but I did not win. I'm okay with that. And uh, just got a few more innings in case anything happens to fly my way. Solid day overall here at Petco Park. Final score, Padres five, Rockies nothing. Now there were no home runs hit during the game, so it's just as well that I wandered up around the upper deck for a few innings to check that out. As for batting practice, that went better than I thought. The Padres, of course, were nowhere to be found early on, but the Rockies really made up for that by hitting a lot of balls into the seats. I snagged six baseballs today, gave away a few, but they all count for my lifetime total. So that number is now 10,098. This was the last night game here at Petco Park this season, so they shot off fireworks. You can see it's really smoky still in the background. I will be back here tomorrow. It's an afternoon game, and I have seats in a really cool spot where I've never been for a game here. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this one.